VR for Interior Designers, Part 2. In this part of the tutorial, we are going to talk about creating different configurations for your design and show you how to benefit from applying different types of scene states in a practical and appealing way. We are going to prepare the model for creating scene states. Select the group closet from the cabinet, then right-click and choose Add Parent. Adding an additional parent to a group allows you to have two levels of control over the object's transformation, where you can preserve one level for animation purposes, and use the other to reposition the object in the scene without any conflicts. Change the name of the created parents to specify that the parent's level is designated for movement. Repeat the same steps for the rest of the cabinet parts. Select the main parent of the cabinet that contains all the parts, then go to the Scene States menu and click on Capture. We are going to capture the transformation state. Toggle off all the attributes except for the Transforms state. With the main parent selected, click on Capture from Selection. The captured scene state will appear in the Scene States tab in the bottom panel. Change the arrangement of the cabinet's components to create different configurations to the cabinet and keep in mind to move the parts by their movement parent. You can hold the Shift key on your keyboard and double-click an object to go up one level in its parent hierarchy. With the main parent selected, click on Capture from Selection in the Scene States Creation window. Repeat the same steps for as many configurations as you wish to have. Apply the scene state simply by dragging the scene state onto the 3D area. Go to the scene states menu and select Manage. Click on the plus button to add a new scene states group and name it Materials. Notice that down in the scene states tab, a new group named Materials has been created. Select the cabinet main parent and toggle off all the attributes except for the Materials state. Change the current group from default to materials, then click on Capture from Selection. The captured scene state will appear in the new group named Materials. Click on the components to display the materials attributes in the panel to the right, and change the materials attributes. Select the cabinet's main parent, then click on Capture from Selection. Create as many material options for the cabinets as needed by repeating the recent steps. To apply the scene state, simply drag the scene state onto the working area. Now we are going to render each scene state configuration and use the rendered result as images that we will apply to the plates of a 3D object we created earlier to mimic a brochure. Set the camera to a front angle to focus on the cabinet's design. From the Render menu, select Fixed Rendering. Once you are satisfied with the render result, Save the image by clicking on the Capture Image icon below. Set the directory where you want to save the images, then name the image and click Save.
Change the scene state by dragging the new scene state to the working area. Repeat the same steps to render an image for each scene state you have. We are going to show a brochure stand model we made from before and imported to this file in order to represent the different scene states we just made in a beautiful way to the viewer. In order to show the hidden brochure, press S on your keyboard. Change the color of the plates you want to show the different configurations we've made to white. To display the images you previously rendered on the plates, simply click on the texture icon in the Material Attributes panel. Then locate the saved rendered image and click Open. Apply each image to a different plate. To link the scene states with the new brochures, select the brochure and in the Objects Attributes tab, set the action type to Scene State. Simply click on the scene state's name that is similar to the image you have on your brochure. Connect each brochure with its corresponding scene state following the previously mentioned steps. Select the first materials plate, then go to the object attributes and set the action to scene state. Click on the scene state that is similar to the plates menu in order to link the scene state to the plate. Repeat the same steps to the rest of the material plates. Go to the Launch VR menu and select Start Desktop to see the result. SimLab Composer Scene States grants you the ability to display multiple options and configurations for your 3D design in a single 3D session. It is very simple to use and adds up significantly to the value and efficiency of the VR experience.